Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we will look at how to make a simple logo animation. This one on Kidding Live and save the effect so you can reuse it on other videos. To start you need two logo images both with a size of at least 500 pixel by 500. One of these images should have the logo with a transparent background. You will also need a video or an image that will be used as a background for the entire video. Now open Kidding Live and add your logo files. Drag your video slash image to the timeline then select the first logo and place it on the timeline and adjust its length to around 2.5 seconds next click this logo and select insert effect transform at the top right click on effects with the logo selected and the highlight at the beginning click the first keyframe and set the attributes for this logo set the width and height to 150 by 150 and for positioning we want to position this one at the middle of the screen horizontally but vertically we want it to hide at the top so we take the full width of the screen that's full HD 1920 subtract 150 and divide by 2 to get the X coordinate that is 895 and for the Y we set at negative 150 so that the logo is hidden at the top keep interpolation linear move to make the next keyframe 5 microseconds for the second keyframe keep the size the same and the X coordinates the same but set the Y coordinates to 465 that is 1080 minus 150 then divided by 2 to get the central point and then set the interpolation to discrete for the next keyframe 5 microseconds later set the size to 150 by 150 and y coordinates to still the same but the interpolation to smooth make another keyframe 30 microseconds next and then for this fourth keyframe set the size to 800 by 800 to keep it centered and set the x coordinates to 560 and y coordinates to 140 set interpolation to linear another 30 microseconds we create the fifth keyframe and set the size to 500 by 500 with x coordinates at 710 and y coordinates at 290 and interpolation to linear skip another 5 microseconds and create the 6 keyframe size positioning and interpolation should stay the same but set rotation to negative 30 degrees another 10 microseconds and we create the 7th keyframe size positioning and interpolation to stay the same but set rotation to positive 30 degrees and for the 8th keyframe that's 5 microseconds later set rotation back to 0 degrees move another 5 microseconds and keep the size still at 500 by 500 set the positioning to 330 on the X and leave the Y the same set interpolation to linear another 5 microseconds again and finally set the size to 500 and coordinates for X to 156 and Y to 290 with interpolation still linear remember you can adjust the time between the keyframes to your liking now for the second logo with the transparency, place it on the timeline and readjust its length to 2.5 seconds like the first one. Place it next to the first logo and right click it, insert effect, transform, go to effects and with it still selected, go to the first keyframe and set the values similar to the last keyframe on the first logo. That is the size to 500 by 500, X coordinate to 156 and Y coordinates to 290, interpolation linear. Create a second keyframe 5 microseconds afterwards, keep the size the same and positioning the same but interpolation to smooth now move 30 microseconds and add the final keyframe set its size to 200 by 200 positioning on x-axis to 50 and y-axis to 850 now play the old clip on the timeline you can adjust the length of the logo this the second logo with transparency by extending it to cover the entire length of your video also make sure both logos are always above your footage on the Kden Live timeline so that they can appear above your footage. Now for usability purposes, select the first logo, go to effects and save by clicking the button that looks like a download. Add a name and click save. Do the same for the second logo effect. Remember this effect that you've created are saved under custom. So if you go to effects under custom, you should find them. The next time you want to reuse the effect, just select the logo. Go to effects under custom and select your effect and double click it. It will be applied to your logo. And that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Share and subscribe. You can also donate to the channel. Link will be in the description. I'll see you on the next one.